1960. I attended, I attended College Place Elementary through the eighth grade and then to Garrison Junior High one year before Hawaii. High. It, I was pretty shy back then and living in College Place, it was pretty hard to be involved in most of the high school activities, but I have fond memories of most of you, Owa High, and the proms and the dances and reunions. Vic and I dated pretty much through high school, and we were married in 1963, had our son, Kevin, in 1966, and he gave us a grandson who is now 23. Shortly after our son was born, we moved to Seattle area where we lived over 50 years. During that time, Vic worked in banking and assistant general manager at the Washington State Convention Center in Seattle. I opened a full service FTD flower shop and operated that for 16 years. Sold it in 2003 and retired, yay. <laughs> we moved to Tucson, Arizona five years ago and enjoy sun almost every day. So glad we made the trip to be here with you lovely classmates. Thank you. Um, Judy. <laughs> I've been a Jay here. Thank you, Judy, Marilyn, and Susan, and all the crew. What a wonderful evening. Love you guys. Take care. Hope I see you in another 10 years. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. Two minutes. <laughs> Two minutes. <laughs> well, I just want to say that I'm good so, luck. so, so thankful to the creator of all good things to live this day. But I can be here with those relatives of our human family who I spent three years and more with since I was 12. Thank you. <laughs> And I just want to say this, you know, I've had my good life and I continue this. To me, to me it's this way. If you run a 400 run meters like Brian Duncan, he'd be one of our best 400 meter runners in the world. In fact, I have a photograph of memory. I can tell you stories about what was every one of you. In fact, when you graduated from high school, I was a senior class president. I knew by face every one of your names, 365 students. And only mistake I made was I went and I dealt with Peggy, this Peggy exit climber. Ike's 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 climber. My right, Peggy. I have to apologize again. Ike's climber. Climber, right? Ike's climber. So anyway, that was a mis one mistake that I that I made. So I apologize again. But to me, my relatives, I call you that, members of the human family. It's not the 100 meters, the first 100 meters Brian knows is important. But it's next 200 meters or 300 meters. It's that last 400 meters. That's where we're at as elders. And this world needs us. This world needs our leadership, our wisdom, our strength. Instead of just going around, going to die. As Greg Mulhair sent you his love, and he's struggling the best he can. But I'm going to say, to me, that's why I'm here. I'm here because I believe in you, and I know we've all been through a heartfelt journey, but this is the time for us to rise. This is the time for us to run that fast 400 meters. Each one of us, physically, emotionally, spiritually, physically, to be ourselves in the best condition we can. Because we don't have to be dying off like we are. Too many of our classmates have died because of this unhealthy diet, whatever. So anyway, I'm not even saying anything, but I wanted to say that much. <laughs> and I want to say, Judy B. Chamberlain, I think, stand up. Judy B. Just a minute, a minute. Come on. Come on. Come on, Judy B. The one for Judy B. Penny and others. In fact, have your committee stand up, if you would. Judy B. Have the crowd of work on you. Patty. Come on. Come on. Come on. Anyway. Anyway, that we would not have, yes, please, anyway, we would not have this reunion if it wasn't for them. This reunion would not happen. 
So if it's going to happen again, they have to be here. <laughs> so my goal is this. I don't want to be on the board. You remember the board? That was what you all put up. That's how all the volunteers are deceased. The board. I don't want to be there at the next reunion. I don't want you guys. No reason to. We've been given this precious.